to be or not to be. Yes, today we're talking about Hamlet. We are talking about the play Hamlet written by, of course, William Shakespeare, or the tragedy of Hamlet. Uh, very, very good film versions here. Of course, whenever we're here, we're talking about that connection between great literature and great film, and we can do this with Hamlet. Number of very interesting versions. The first one I like to talk about is the one from 1964, which was uh, Richard Burton uh, playing the prince, uh, Hamlet. Uh, John Gielgud directed this, and he did it in kind of uh, like it was a rehearsal for a play. It was very avant-garde and, and very popular at the time, very effective. Now, again, in 1996, Kenneth Branagh, again, did a great uh, version of Hamlet. Everything, we seem to have him connected with so many interesting film versions of great literature. We just have to watch for all the Kenneth Branagh stuff. Now, in the year 2000, Ethan Hawke was in an amazingly updated version of Hamlet, where it's set in New York City, and he is actually, his father was the head of Denmark Corporation. So they did this whole thing where they changed the setting and the time, but it was very effective. It worked. Now, the one I want to talk about today is from 2015. Um, as of this taping right now, I don't know if there's a copy of it, but here's what I'm going to tell everybody to do. Uh, in 2015, uh, B uh, Benedict Cumberbatch did a version of Hamlet for the National Theatre in England. Now, it was on UK television there, and what they did was then subsequently they placed it in theatres throughout the, the world, I think. As of now, I don't know if there's a copy of that somewhere, so we're going to all do some uh, research and see if we can find a, co a copy of, uh, be of Benedict Cumberbatch doing Hamlet in 2015, see if we can get it. So, can't go wrong, great literature, a lot of interesting movies. Remember, read it and watch it. 